we are in Athens, Kifisia, and we are here with my lovely, my one and only Theos, my uncle from my husband's side. the most expensive neighborhood of Athens. <laughs> this is Please. true. This is true. Uh, in and, the, and we are cooking. <laughs> we are cooking. He's cooking. Besides scatame fraudes, I know oh, you yeah. can cut the face. Yes, <laughs> I will not cut this. <laughs> We are cooking mussels with rice, not risotto with mussels. Eggs, indeed. Soupy rice with the mussels in. In a soupy sauce, red sauce. We can make it risotto, but it's too dry. He knows. Exactly. In order to closer. do this, first you have to go and buy the muscles. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> because if you don't buy them, you got screwed out of luck. <laughs> Fresh muscles here. Just uh, steamed. We, just steamed. Nothing we else. Just steam the muscles. Just to open like a muscle. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Simply <laughs> like that. <laughs> there they are. Don't cook them. Just steam them open. By the way, let me tell you that it smells amazing here. It smells like, if it smells like a muscle, <laughs> tastes like a muscle, then it must be a muscle. <laughs> This is the uh, rice sauce cooking. <laughs> so after you steam the muscle, you pull the beard off, keep the juice, strain it, and keep it in the refrigerator until you are ready to cook the rice. That's a key ingredient. The, the juice from the muscle makes the flavor come alive. It's really good. Then you get a pot, not to smoke, cloves <laughs> of garlic with olive oil, extra virgin. Only Greek extra virgin olive oil. However, it's impossible to find virgin today. I have a dog who is virgin. <laughs> Saute the virgin olive oil and garlic for about two minutes. Don't let it turn brown. With onion or without onion? No onion. No onion. He hates onion, I think. No, I love oh, it. you like onion. But it doesn't go into the recipe. Mm. <laughs> you dump one full can of whole tomatoes. Canned tomatoes. Let's show. Yeah, kikinus. Has to be kikinus. Because the rest is all crap. This is the creme de la creme of the Greek yeah, tomato exactly. paste. Tomato, uh, full plum tomatoes, baby tomatoes. It's a whole tomato in here, actually. The rest is all crap. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure. I'm recording. Okay. <clears throat> then you dump the rice in. How much rice? According to your taste. Soupy or dry rice like beton arme. <laughs> <clears throat> Like it soupy, you make sure there is enough liquid from the muscles and you can add some extra water from the faucet. <laughs> and you start boiling the rice. The muscles will go in last. Yeah, you want when to you, fresh. You don't when want to you turn the heat off, that's when you put the muscles in. 
not your muscle, the sea muscle. <laughs> While you are cooking, no sex is allowed. That's important. <laughs> because instead of screwing someone, you're gonna screw up the food. Kitty, I come here. The rice is cooking until it becomes soft. And you keep stirring, stir, or stirring. 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 Make sure it doesn't get glued to the bottom of the pot. Yeah. Okay. It smells really good in here. This is the texture of the rice. It needs some more liquid because I can see it's not done yet. Yeah, it needs a bit more. Some minutes, not more. A few more minutes. But the big secret comes yeah. at the end. Before I tell you the secret, I better drink some chipro. <laughs> chipro goes very well with seafood and mussels. Exactly. If you don't drink chipro and grease, what are <laughs> you going to drink? You can drink Serkova, but it don't work. Mm. Not as well. Uso. Uso, it's a good, a good alternative. By the way, since you are taking a picture, I might add just a drop of Uso into the rice. Yeah, why not? Mm. Hold the phone, amigo. <laughs> Now, the next is smoke a cigarette while you are cooking. You keep doing this. <laughs> this is the Hasta la Vista plate. Caroto, carrot, <laughs> potato, onion cut in half, fava beans, and fava beans are these, baby fava beans. They are more expensive than filet bignon. <laughs> The baby ones, because the other ones you can buy them. The adults are fine. <laughs> Potato and artichokes. The other one? What do we have in there? Ah, here is the best. Chickpeas. You start with the chickpeas the night before and you put them in water for overnight. That will help them to become soft. You put them in a pot, you don't smoke it. <laughs> <laughs> and you start boiling. While it's boiling, you're gonna see some foam rising on top of the pot. You skim it. After you skim it, you chop two onions and put them in and let it boil. After they are half done, you add 
one glass of boiling oil and some salt. How much is some? You have to eyeball it. <laughs> So you let it boil for three, four hours, and make sure you put two laurel leaves in, which I took an hour. How much water? Depends if you want it soupy or thick. The taste is exactly the same. When you skim it, do you put fresh water back in? Or no, no, do you, you skim it. Skim the foam. With a kutala. And you leave the same water in? No, no, no. Okay. Just checking so that everyone knows. Because <coughs> everybody is so professional, chopping the onion and has everything in order, in small balls, balls. <laughs> chopped onion, the parsley. The only thing I have chopped, chopped in a bowl is my parsley that will go in at the end. Remember? I, I John Sarkiri. I just met a girl named Maria. Maria. <laughs> so at the end, we put in the muscles. With the flame off. Thank you. Oh. The parsley. The parsley is great. Yeah, but the parsley did not boil. Make sure you don't boil the parsley. Which are we going to enjoy? <coughs> so. And tell everybody on YouTube. Eh? Just a joke. Hey, excuse me. Bye, everybody. <laughs>